3D printing tips that many of you have been asking in the comments section of what you would like to know. Now this is a common question that a few people recently asked me, layer height. What is the best layer height setting to get the perfect distance between the build plate and the nozzle to get the right first layer? Now, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. It's all based off a of trial and error. Practice, practice, practice. It's good to practice. Even make mistakes. If you make a mistake on your layer height and you're not getting the correct height that you need for your print to stick to the build plate and it's just way above the build plate that it should be, that's okay. That's a good thing because you can learn from that. Once you learn how to fix this mistake, which I will show you here in these settings, you'll be able to get the right layer height you need. But also, it is based off the specific type of nozzle you're using. Now, all printers have 0.4 millimeter nozzles. These 0.4 millimeter nozzles are the common nozzle that all printers use. Now, you can actually switch your nozzle size uh, to, as you can see here in the top slicer software system here, by the way, we're using Ultimaker Cura. If you use the slicer software, you're going to really like this. I'm going to help you out on this one, which by the way, in the next video, I will teach you more about Cura settings. If you're ever getting into 3d printing and using Ultimaker Cura, really amazing software. Anyway, now, as you can see here in the top middle section here, you have the filament settings. Now the filament settings, you can choose the material or the nozzle size. Now let's do material real quick so I can help you guys out. Now the material, you have these different brands here that you can use. And here's the thing, a lot of people use them. I don't really use them because eh, it's fine. I use generic. Generic is basically the settings for the specific filament you're using. We have PLA as a material, and then we have the nozzle size right here. 0.4 millimeter nozzle. That's what comes with each of our printers. But if you switch to a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, you would actually have to change your resolution over here, which is this guy, which is your layer height quality. Here is your super quality, dynamic quality, standard quality, and low quality. But I wouldn't recommend using low quality. I would recommend you use standard quality because that will give you good quality 3D prints that don't take long to sand if you're doing like big projects for like cosplay or just like toys or something like that. Now, if you were to switch to a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, the quality of it will go between a 0. Point, by the way, ultra quality here, 0.08 millimeter layer height to a super quality is 0.12 millimeter quality. You can go to customs here and go to, oh, here we are, layer height settings. You can click on the show customs, which by the way, used to be on the bottom here. You click on show customs and it shows layer height. Now the layer height, you can type in here to be like, oh, I don't know, like 0 0.08 or nine or even 10. You can even do 15 if you wanted to. You could type that in if you wanted to. It, it's your choice. You can choose the layer height. It's all about experimentation. Now, as soon as you switch to a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle here, your qualities that you have are super dynamic, standard, and low. Now, the thing is, you can use a super quality. I haven't actually experimented with the super or the dynamic yet. I have done low quality. I don't hate it. I wouldn't say I recommend it or anything like that, but it's, it's okay. But the thing is, it'll give you a little more layer lines as I've experienced. But uh, I just use 0 0.2. That's what I mostly use. But I will try to 3D print something and show you in the next video if you would like to see what super or dynamic quality looks like. I can do that for you. Just let me know in the comments section. I'd be happy to try it out for you guys so that way you can see what it looks like. Now, adding to the layer height setting, when you go to change your layer height, make sure that you do a small print like this right here. Now, I will put the link in the description for this test cube so that way if you're getting started on 3D printing, this is what I would start with to get your settings right, such as your overhang and your infill settings, such as your speed as well, and your retraction settings as well, so that way it shows if you're getting strings or no strings. But the thing is, it'll help you perfect your layer height. I would recommend getting this test cube when you start printing and everything like that, so that way you could work on the layer height settings, so that way... When you're working on the build plate, you could be able to adjust the settings when you get the first layers and everything like that. Go back to the slicer software and then change your settings whenever you need to.